so J.B. Bickerstaff uh, was asked kind of the message um, that he sent the team to the All-Star break with. Here's J.B. Bickerstaff from last night. We've done a hell of a job to be in the position that we're in, and that was the message to the guys. Uh, you know, the message was also to make sure we take the break and use it wisely. Um, you know, physically and mentally, we all need to refresh. Um, but this can't be an opportunity where we come back and we're not prepared for what's ahead of us. Uh, we need to be one of those teams that's coming out of the break, um, you know, firing. And so take this time to get your rest, um, you know, take some downtime, but make sure you're in the gym, make sure uh, you're working on your conditioning and all those things so that coming out of it, uh, we can start fast. And, and Chris, I know we've talked about this. Every time I hear him talk, he, he reinforces he's the perfect guy for, for a young team like this. Dave, he just understands what they need to hear um, in a certain moment. That was the last game before the All-Star break. That was It was the last meeting that they were going to have officially as a team um, before going their separate ways. He's been around the NBA long enough to know that that was going to be a difficult game regardless because a lot of guys are already on All-Star break, and it was going to be a mental challenge for them. Um, and it's one that they uh, they played okay against Atlanta. They probably would have been um, better off not giving up 124 points to the Hawks, which is the second most that they've given up this year. But but I think he recognizes that that wasn't the night to harp on how bad the defense was, right? That wasn't the night to talk about Trey Young going for 41 points and nine assists and defensive schemes and strategies that need to be better and whether Karis LeVert is going to get in the starting lineup in the second half of the season as opposed to coming off the bench, there's always a time and place. And I think what he wanted to deliver to the guys was the right message. What you guys have accomplished is really, really something that you should be proud of, given the way that you played last year, 22 and 50, given the way the previous two years went, 19 wins in each of those two seasons. Have a recognition of what you've done throughout the first half of the season. Understand now that we're going into a position where the games aren't coming at us fast and furious, understand that you need to take some time to reflect on, on what it was that, that got us to this point and, and how you can help us even more in the second half of the season. And to me, that, that was the right message because this has been a wild first half of the season They've dealt with a lot of different things, and they honestly haven't had a lot of time to exhale or bask in what they've accomplished. And what they've accomplished, to some degree, should be celebrated, given where they were uh, at this time last year. Absolutely. And, and get ready, because uh, uh, if you play like you did the first half, the second half could be a whole lot of fun.